Hello guys, welcome to another Project Euler tutorial. This is problem 12, highly divisible triangle number. The sequence of triangle numbers is generated by adding the natural numbers. So the seventh triangle number would be the natural numbers 1 through 7 adding up to equal 28. The first 10 terms would be that. Let's list the factors of the first seven triangle numbers. Here are the triangle numbers and their factors. We can see 28 is the first triangle number to have over 5 divisors. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, it has 6. What is the value of the triangle number to have over 500 divisors? So here we need to see the value of the first triangle number. So that would be one of these numbers. So I'm going to take this very slow and step by step. First, we need three variables. We need something to hold the number of divisors. We need the triangle number. And we need the count to, f to know which uh, natural number we are on. So let's go ahead and make those. That will stand for number of divisors. We need triangle num for the triangle number. And then count. Count is going to hold our natural number list. It's not a list, really. So we want to initialize these variables. All of them are going to equal zero. First of all, triangle number, or num divisors, sorry, that's going to equal zero because there aren't any divisors yet. Triangle number is zero because we just want to start at zero. And count is zero because we're going to increment count inside of a loop, which we'll get to later on. So num divisor will equal triangle number will equal count, which will equal zero. So this is just saying that they're all going to equal zero. Now we get to the loop. What kind of, if you think about this, what kind of loop do you want? We could do a for loop and have it not ending, but it'd be a lot easier to just break out of the loop once num divisors equals or is greater than or equal to 500. So while num divisors is less than or equal to 500, so this loop will keep going as long as num divisors is less than or equal to 500. So right here, we want num divisor to equal 0 again. Why? Because we want num divisors to not keep its value for the previous number. So if it did, it add up very quickly, and you'd get the wrong answer, basically. We some may ask why didn't we initialize it in here, or why didn't we just move in divisors down here? The reason is is because num divisors right here is outside of here. So if we did not initialize it up here, we get an error right here on this line. So next we want to increment count, because I told you we would. The reason is we want to go to the next natural number, so it would go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, up to however many it needs to go. And the triangle number is basically the adding of these natural numbers. So triangle number will plus equal count. Because if you look right here, it's 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7. So all of it is is just adding th these natural numbers, which will be held in count. So what do we want to do next? We want to find out if a number is a divisor or not. I'm going to write this out, and then I'm going to explain it to you. So if counter, that's my bad. I meant to say 4. <laughs> Okay, 
this is your basic. I've done this in the primes list before when we were making primes or determining if a number was prime or not. To determine if it's prime, we just need to go to the square root of the number. But to determine if a number is a factor, there is a problem with going to the square root. Yes, it's very efficient, and it's a lot more efficient than if you would just go up to the triangle number itself. But the problem is, if you take any number, such as 12, the square root of 12 is 3 point, uh, probably 3.2 something, or 3.3 something. But since it's an integer, it rounds down to 3. So there's obviously more divisors above 3. And the way we counter this is to add 2 every time you encounter a divisor. This holds true for every number except for perfect, uh, perfect square roots, such as 9. And I'll write it out real quick, and hopefully it makes sense. Triangle. So let's take our example 12 again and go to 3. So 1 is, di one is a divisor, so that's 2. 2 is a divisor, that'd be 4. And 3 is a divisor, which would be 6. So from what this is saying, this has six, 12 has 6 divisors. Let's see if that's true. Well, 1's a divisor, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. And if you counted that, that is 6 divisors, so that's true. And that holds true for any number, except for perfect squares. So if you take 9, the square root of that is 3. So let's count. 1 is a divisor, so that's 2. 3 is the divisor, which is 4. But if you count, it has 1 less. And if you take all the square root, or all the perfect squares, it will always have 1 less. So to get by that, we need to determine if triangle number is a perfect square. And if it is, we'll just subtract 1 from the number of divisors. Fifth. LOL. So if math.square root <clears throat> sorry if math.square root times math.square root equals the original number num divisors minus minus the reason we can do this is because if you take the square root of a number and it's not a perfect square because this is in base 2, it all comes down to bases. If you take that number and multiply it together, it will not equal the original number if it's not an integer or if it's not a perfect square. So we can do that. I'm not going to go in, in depth about that because I'll be completely honest, I'm not completely familiar with the bases of numbers. So that's actually all we need. If this performs correctly, we will get the proper triangle number. The first triangle number. And we'll just plug in triangle number. All right, we'll go back over this one more time. This is just initializing these three variables. This loop will continue while num divisors is less than or equal to 500. Because right here, you want over 500 divisors. We're just uh, reinitializing this to zero so that, let's say, the seventh triangle number starts at zero. Yeah, so the seventh triangle number starts at zero. We do not want this to keep incrementing. This will keep track of the natural numbers, so it will be one, two, all the way up to however many it needs to go. Triangle number will just hold your triangle number, which is just the addition of your natural numbers. This determines if a number is a divisor or not. 
this determines if a number is a perfect square because a perfect square will always have one less than what this predicts it to be. And then this just prints it out. The first triangle number is 76 million 576,500. Let's find out if that is true, just so I'm not lying to you guys. And that is true. If you guys have any questions, uh, feel free to contact me. If you can't tell, I am sick ag again. It really sucks. I'm very sorry. <laughs> so, if you guys have any questions, feel free to contact me. I will help you as much as I can. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for uh, your next project Euler tutorial.